Hello everybody, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. My name is Mitch Tabian and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to populate a list view and store items of a list view into an SQL database or store items and then populate a list view with those items. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can use shared preferences but, but the best way I think is to do, use SQL because you can reference, reference the list items the easiest. So do a little demo over here and say Add that, then click on view entries, and I entered those already. So I don't know. My brother's name is Blake. So check, throw that in there. And that's, yeah, so what we'll do is create a new project to start. So we call. I'll just save it somewhere. Somewhere else. Try that. Blank activity. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is design the layout for entering items. So it'll be this layout right here. And I guess let's put a margin on top too. Do like 20 dp. Sure. And same with that one. Okay, so there's your layout. Um, so so the first thing we'll do is we'll make actually make the database helper. Actually, I'll just make it a layout right now. It's, it'll be easy. So this is just going to be your um, uh, view contents layout, I guess. And this one's just going to be a list view. So just throw a list view in there, and it should be called list view. Yeah. Okay. So that's done. Easy. Now we're going to create our database helper. So I I know when I was learning, first learning how to use a database, the database helper seemed pretty intimidating. Um, so if if you're just learning, just just straight up copy this and don't don't worry about too much else because you'll you'll eventually understand how it works. It's not very complicated, but it might seem complicated right now. Okay, I think that's all the kind of stuff that you need to have in here. So now now we can create the methods that we're going to use in our um, in our other classes. So we're going to have an add data obviously because we need to add data to the database. So and I'll make it a boolean so that we can we can check if everything added correctly. SQLite database call it db Writable database, and then we're going to use content values to um, add the data. Content values dot, dot put, and we're going to put we're going to add column add the data to column two. Um, because that's where our item is being stored. So, like, if I wanted to add more columns, it's very simple. I would just, you know, create another column, call it column three, and call this something else. There's a few other things you need to do too, but like, generally, that's it. Insert is a built-in command. It takes your database name, content values. So here's where we check if it gets inserted correctly. So if result is because this this will return a if you click on this it will return a negative one if if it fails to enter and it will return if it if it returns anything else it means it was entered correctly basically. So if it returns negative one or if it yeah. If 
the insert returns negative one, we're going to return false. And I'll show you how we're going to use that in our other class later to check if it was entered correctly. Uh, so then otherwise, if it was entered correctly, it's going to return true. Well, that's not what I wanted. And uh, if you want to if you want to learn more about SQL databases, check out my other um, my other tutorial on SQL Lite for Android because I, th I go over everything a lot in a lot more detail than what I'm doing right now. And we use a cursor here for getting all this contents. Yeah, so this method right here that I'm writing right now is for getting the contents of the database. So you use a select query. Select star means select all from, and you put the database in here. So select all from database. Oh no, I need table, sorry. Select all from table. And there. And then you return the data. There we go. So that's it for the for the for the database helper. So like I said, if if you're if you're kind of new to Android, don't worry about the database helper. Just straight up copy this. Um, and if you want to learn how to enter more stuff into the database, like have more columns, watch my other tutorial. I'll put I'll put a little link on here. And yeah, so so I just make sure I got everything here. I think it's good. Um, so yeah, now I think we can go into our main activity, and we can start writing the code. So database helper. Call it my database. We gotta make a button, two buttons actually. Button add, and we'll call it button view. And we have an edit text, and we'll just call it edit text. So we're only gonna have one. So edit text equals. Not, there's not going to be much to this. We just basically need a couple on-click, on-click listeners. So we'll do. Oops, button add dot set on. No, that's not what I want. Set on-click listener. Then go new capital O N, and it should pop up right there. Just click enter, and it'll it'll build it for you. So we're going to need a string. We'll call it new entry. Then get the text. And then if, oops, if edit text. So this is just going to be to check, check to make sure if they actually wrote something down. So if the length does not equal zero, then we're going to oh we need to write our methods first. So uh, we're going to I'm going to write a method down there called add add data and then you just pass the string to it and then at the end of that we want to set this text to blank again else we we'll make a toast so this is if um, if they hit add and th this will this will come up if they hit add and they didn't actually write anything in the field because it will mean the length equals zero. Okay. So I'll create the add data public void add data. Oops. And we're gonna need to give it a string. Let's call it new entry and boolean. So we use a boolean here because in the database helper, 
that's what we use. So we need to use the same type. So this is where I call my method add data. So you refer to the database and use the method in here, add data. And pass it new entry. So here's where we check um, by using the Boolean. So if this equals true, then your toast. Actually, I'm just going to copy this. Say successfully entered data. And then else go something went wrong. Unhappy face. So if yeah, so if insert data is true, because here we said if it's true. It's gonna. It will return something other than negative one, and it will print out this. So now that red's gone away. Uh, so I guess now I'll do button view. I'll set the on click listener for this. And this one's gonna be easy because uh, I'm gonna make another activity for the view. All I have to do is uh, switch switch the views so you create an intent and what do we call it? We called it, uh, I guess I'll call it view contents uh, view list contents dot class. So I still got to create that class and oops, not start, start activity here and then just pass your intent and that will take it to the other screen. So this is this is done. So now we just have to create this view list contents class. Let's go over here, create a new class, view list contents extends this no. What is this one? I want to extend that. Same thing. Okay, and then import your on create method. Create set content view. I think it's set content view. Yeah, set content view. R dot layout dot view contents layout. Okay. I'm going to call the database up here. Create the list view. Oh, what the hell? Okay. And oh, I can't remember if I declared the database helper. I don't think I did. I think I forgot to put this in my other class. Yep. There we go. Okay. So what do I need to make here? I'm gonna need to populate an array list from the database and then and then adapt that to a list adapter. So we'll start by making an array list and then string type. Call it the list. And then we need a cursor. Dot get list contents. Yeah. So, um, just like before, where we had the add data method that we created, we're going to create a cursor here that references the database and references this get list contents right here. So that's what this is. So the cursor is going to get the, all the contents of the database by doing this. And then what we do is um, populate the array list with that data. Oops. And count equals zero. So 
if there's nothing in the database. Um, nope, don't do that. I need that toast again. Let's go back here, copy that. Throw that toast in here. This is be view this content stuff. This. So the database was empty. I mean, unhappy face. So then, if the database isn't empty, we are going to actually do something. So while data dot move to next, so this it will continue um, looping through the so list dot add get string one. So here, the reason why I put a one in here. This reference, this is the column number that we're referencing. So if we go back to the database, the column ID, the column here for the ID is zero. This column is one. So we're, that's what. If I put zero here, it would get the ID. But we want the items, so I put in one. We need to make it a list adapter. It's going to be an array list adapter. Uh, I don't think I need to put the type in there. So this, I'm just going to use a basic Android list, so single extent one, sure, and then we're going to pass the list here, and then we need to set the adapter. Since it's updated, it keeps recommending all kinds of weird stuff. There we go. Okay, uh, I think I'm done. Start the emulator. I guess think that one. So if, yeah, if there's anything confusing about this, don't forget to leave a comment. But I think I think I went through it pretty pretty slowly. Um, and like I said before, if you if you worry about not understanding the database helper, just straight up copy. I'm gonna post the source code, so just straight up copy and paste this, and that way at least you can make apps where you're adding stuff to a database saving it and you can throw it into a list view. I think I've got everything. Oh, crashed. That's not good. Oh, forgot to add um I gotta add view list contents to the manifest. So going to the manifest a new activity like that. Close it. That's probably what it was. You don't need to make one for the database helper because it's not. It's not. Uh, it doesn't have an onCreate method. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so there's the old stuff that I had in there. Let's uh, add something new. I don't know. Um, potato. Add and view the contents, and you can see potatoes added there. Okay, so in in my next tutorial, I'm probably going to do a list. Ad, uh, show you how to make a list adapter. So you can have a list like this, a list view, but you can have other stuff in the list view. So there might be like columns, like in this row peanut butter, it might have like uh, I don't know a, a little another bit of text here, and so and and so on. Um, so I'll make a list adapter probably with two or three things that you can throw show in the rows because I know that was really hard when I was learning so um, and it's a really useful thing if you want to make lists with little extra details in there so if you like the video like the video um, show your support and subscribe and thanks for watching